Alrighty, it's your crazy fan girl Shami. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today we are going to be watching the fifth episode, no, not the fifth, my bad, fourth episode of The Bad Batch, Cornered. Uh, they release the title this time at 5pm. Um, I think for the last few episodes they've just done episode da 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 instead of giving the title name. But um, yeah, thankfully they did. Um, last time, what happened last time? It's been a week since the last episode. Um... Well, what a week, that's what I mean. Of course it's been a week. Um, but, uh, what happened? Oh yes, we had all that stuff with, uh, the Bad Batch obviously trying to get those parts for the ship again. Um, they're on their way somewhere. I can't remember what their next destination was, but they did make a room for Omega, which was really sweet. And then we did get to see sort of the rising of the Empire and everything that's happening at the moment with the troops, especially with Crosshair. Very good stuff. And it's interesting because it's going into a dark... Um, period of time which we've never seen before like it's always been I think it's been talked people can obviously correct me on this but in the co there's comic books and graphic novels and stuff people have said there's st little bits of stuff in that but not much so now I think everybody's being able to watch this show and everyone's able to see it together which is really cool so we're all taking this in at the same time but anyway let's jump straight into this I'm really excited for this new episode um it obviously seems it seems like this is the one with the I, I don't know what the vehicle's called, but in the teaser, not for this episode, but in the sizzle teaser that we got last year, because I, I haven't watched any of the teasers and I haven't watched any of the trailers except for the sizzle that we got last year at um, the Disney sort of like release day stuff, press conference. Um, we did see Hunter on like a, what's it called? It's a, it's a vehicle. It looks like a motorbike, but it's like a floating thing. I can't remember what it's called, but you know what I mean. Um, so I think this is the episode that is going to happen because it's got a photo of him sort of like past all these moving lights. But I'm excited because I hope, I don't know if we'll see her yet, but I really hope we see Fennec real soon because like she's, she's like one of my favorite characters from The Mandalorian. And to find out that she's come back in this, it's so good and I'm so excited. But anyway, let's jump straight into this. But before that, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed this video, but also keep up to date with all my other reactions to more movies, TV shows, and video games. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. You can do that. Of course I can do it. But I need to land in order to perform those modifications. By my calculations, the closest planet is Pantora. <gasps> Pantora! Nice, so we're going there. <laughs> we're getting the hang of this civilian thing. Oh no, I knew it! Never trust those fools. What sort of ship is that? Channels is, you're looking for a certain modified. <gasps> there she is! <gasps> make no win! Transmit the coordinates and make sure they don't leave. Oh no! Oh, there she is! Heck yes! <laughs> Echo looks sick. I love that, like, suit on him. Damn, the animation has gotten so much better. Looks so good. Oh. Damn, Jesus. This is what I mean. This is last time. I was I was briefly talking about this because I forgot to talk about it in episode one. But um, it's sort of like the cleansing of all the clones and just like their personalities. I spoke about this a little bit last episode or the episode before that. But um... Yeah, everything's pristine now. Like, again, like, I've gone back and watched The Clone Wars. I've finished it now. Um, and just, it's all that personality, all that sort of, like, each other's, like, um, yeah, characteristics and just, like, their own quirks are all gone. Like, they're all technically the same person, all with the same hive mind and just that perfection, you know, like, clean suits. There's nothing to indicate anything different about them. All just pure, yeah, again, white suits and just all just perfectly standing straight to attention at all times. There's no sort of like relaxing and then when someone in command comes, they straight away like go into attention. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's so sad just because like we've had so many years with the clones where they're all like, you know, they all have personalities, they're all in their own person. And yeah, it's sad now to see like, you know, that the Bad Batch and, um, very few others are the only ones left of the original clones um, before this sort of cleansing that the Empire is sort of rising up with for the clones and just everything else is doing. 
It's really sad and just, oh. Again, I hope we do see Rex and people like Wolf and stuff because they they also get their chips sort of removed and stuff. So I hope we get to see that hopefully soon. If not, I hope in the next season of The Bad Batch whenever that comes out because I know that there's going to be another season. But anyway. Sorry. Oh, oh no. No! Don't sell that go! <laughs> oh, they're so cute! Wait! Wait! Oh no. Oh no, Fennec! Are you alright? Oh. <gasps> oh! <laughs> she looks so cool! I know. If you're alone, you should come with us! Oh no, Omega, you're too nice! No! Oh! Oh my god! Oh! Oh no! Go, Mega! Oh, so good! Rekka! Can we get out of here? Oh, look at that! <laughs> My heart. Oh. Hello? Come in, say hi to the camera. Oh. Hi, Miley! It's actually been so long since Milo's on, so I thought I'd quickly bring him and say hi. Say hi, Miley! Oh my goodness. <gasps> Yes, Hunter, go! Protective father mode activated. Don't you dare! <gasps> oh my god, Jesus, she's unstoppable. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Oh. oh! Yes! Sorry, Fennec. <laughs> Damn, she's awesome. She has to be a bounty hunter. <laughs> a what? Someone hired to retrieve targets. And you appear to be the target. <laughs> we have to find out who she is and who hired her. Mm. I wonder who hired her. Oh, she ain't happy. Contact me. Huh. She's merciful when she wants to be. Oh, what a shot. Oh! <laughs> that was a great episode, honestly. Because when I saw the amount of time that was in this episode, I was like... Okay, this better not be, like, a really boring episode, and then, like, all the actions in the next one. Thank god, this was such a well-paced episode, especially because these aren't the same- well, I think they are, I'm not sure. They're not the same sort of time as the Clone Wars episodes. The Clone Wars episodes go for, like, quite a while, or the story arcs over a few episodes, but the action was so well-paced in this that it worked to be a one-episode sort of like on its own because I think they learned their lesson from season seven. Season seven they spent three episodes on a getaway and it was so silly. Like that was probably the silliest decision they could have done. They could have done so much more story with just putting it into either one episode or two episodes. It's just like, oh that those three episodes about the sisters was so unnecessary because there wasn't even a lot of character development for those characters, because usually when you have those sort of long episodes, there's character development over it. Like, Ahsoka got the most, because she was obviously involved, but those two sisters never got any. So I was like, what was the point of them being in the story? So, sort of similar to this, I'm glad they learnt their lesson and put it into just one episode. Like, they could have. I would have liked it if even if it was two episodes, but thankfully they were able to wrap it up at one episode because even I was thinking like oh what if she actually gets away with her that'll be interesting because the boys have to obviously go and chase after her but they didn't so that's that's good it means that Finnick is more like gonna be more in the show more 
So I'm excited for that because I love Ming Nguyen and just when I saw the helmet, I was like, mm -hmm, there she is. Oh my God. Like, I was just thinking like maybe she's in this episode. I'm not sure. Um, I was hoping because I was like, oh, every time I go back and watch it sizzle, every time there's that just shot of her looking down the gun and looking at like whoever it is she's looking at, I'm like, dude, I need to see her on the screen. And she looks amazing. They did a really, really good job with her. And I just cannot wait to see more of her in action. And just also the Queen Ming Na Wen. Again, like she's the Queen of Marvel, um, Star Wars, and Disney. So she's got the crown for all of them. She's technically a Disney pr princess. So, like, it, she's got the crown for every single one. She's ticked the boxes for each one. And I'm just like, I love her so much. She's such a good actress. And just anything with her in animation, I'm like, oh, God, she's just so good. But anyway. To the story, oh my god, that moment, the one moment that stood out for me that was just so cute was Rekka, um, like, protecting, um, Omega. Like I said last week, I think we're gonna see sort of like that character development for each of the guys getting closer to Omega. Like, we already have that, um, sort of like, foundation for Hunter and Omega. Like, that's sort of like the main thing, but I think they're also trying to create a relationship with her with the other guys, which is really, really good because... We saw, and this is the sad thing, we saw, like, a split second of that with Crosshair. Because even Crosshair, like, you know, he didn't care about the kid. But then when she said, I know this isn't you, like, this isn't you thinking this or, like, wanting to be like this, he softened so quickly. Because he's such, a, like, a, a really, like, cold, um, keeps the emotions under the surface sort of guy. And then just for a split moment, you can see him, like, oh, she understands. And just those moments are just... Mwah, perfection and that's why I was like oh this is so sad because I don't think we'll unless they get the chip out which I hope they do eventually or they have to fight him and so, or something that's going to be really sad but like if anything like that is ever like going to happen with Crosshair again that'll be cute but um in terms of right now I think they're sort of creating this relationship with each of the guys I think because they've built up this sort of relationship with Wrecker and Omega, I think they're gonna try and do it with Echo and Tech because they seem the most like Tech, like Echo is really supportive of her, but Tex I think is the one who's the most sort of like disconnected from her. He he is always on on the brain. There's always numbers and just like figuring out like situations. So I feel like if there's more emotion to him, I would really like that just because like like he seems like he like cuts off all of his emotions as well so i would like to see more character development for him in the future but as usual hunter is my favorite he was so good in this episode as well even for the brief amount of time we we got to see him i love seeing him i think everybody has a crush on hunter just because like you know he's a good looking animation character you know like don't judge us <laughs> but um overall again such a great episode um, we didn't obviously see anything too much with the Empire, apart from, you know, obviously it rising up, etc. Um, this was a short episode, but same as what I said before, short and sweet and to the point. And again, it's sort of reflection of what Omega said at the beginning, like, why do we have to run? The war's over. This is why they have to run. Not only because of the bounty hunter, but because the Empire is on their butts. They're trying to hunt them down constantly. There's going to be no rest for them for quite a while until they sort of move on to other projects. So it's going to be interesting to see sort of like develop and either heighten or sort of lessen because obviously the Empire has bigger things to follow up. But at the same time, the Empire, eh, excuse me, the Empire likes to have a clean slate left in their midst. So I'm guessing they're going to try and get the Bad Batch soon enough and maybe they might catch them, maybe not. I'm just, yeah, I'm worried about it. But hopefully... Oh, it's gonna be okay. But yeah, there's so many emotional beats they could go down, and this is the thing. Oh, also, since it happened today, I mean, Dave Velody was made an executive director or something, or producer today. Congratulations to the king, because we all know that that was like a long time coming. This man deserves it. So congratulations, Dave. You probably won't see this, but still, like, this is a big cheer from all fans, because this is a big deal for all of us, especially him as well. But like, Oh, just hearing that, I was like, mm, 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 that's so good. Means more good content from Star Wars. No matter the movies or the animation or whatever it is, it's going to be good because Dave's obviously at the helm. Technically, he's the second in line to be like the, the Sith Lord or the Master Jedi when obviously 
if it happens, if George passes away, I feel like Dave's going to be the one who helms, like, the Star Wars universe because he he understands it he understands the vision he understands the story but anyway back to this um like this this episode is good and again what i was going to say about dave was that he's not afraid to take risks and he's not afraid to go down really dark emotional stories so that's the thing i just hope they do more of that stuff because they did it a bit in season seven but i want more and especially because this is post Order 66. Like, this is the darkest period afterwards, so I would love to just see all of it. And, like, this episode was sort of a little bit of an example of how dark it can get in terms of bounty hunting. And even last episode as well, with all the stuff with the troopers and crosshair. So I really want to get and, and, like, delve deeper into that dark part of, like, the Empire and just more of that stuff. It's really interesting, and I hope that we get to see that. So thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on today's episode of The Bad Batch Cornered, episode 4. Oh, again, thoroughly enjoyed it. Well, I think there's 12 or 16 episodes. You guys can correct me on that. But, I mean, it's already going so fast. We're already up to episode 4. I, like, I'm trying to figure out the time of this because <laughs> I'm also going away for a little bit in June, I think it is, because, like, uh, away for a family holiday and also because of my mum's birthday. But, like... At the same time, I'm just like, do I get to, like, will I miss episodes? I can't remember because this show goes for quite a while. Um, obviously every week, but at the same time, I need to see what happens. Um, but yeah, either way, I'm going to watch it. And even if I do miss episodes, I'll just watch them in bulk and then just release the episodes whenever. But, um, oh, dude, it's so good. And obviously the fact that we get a season two, which means that we're going to delve into a lot of stuff. It means that it's not just, like very thin storylines so i'm glad about it and um again i'm excited to see what they've delved into and again just quickly like darker themes please because we don't get to see that often and you know a lot of the big high executives don't want that and i mean like this an example of that which is completely different but like Zack snyder's justice league is so much darker and it's just brilliant because it's perfect dc material it's so good um, you can fight me on that because it's just the best movie I've watched. Best superhero movie I've watched in a long time. I know I was supposed to release a video about it and I, was, I did it with a friend but it got corrupted. That's a story for another time but I'm probably just going to sit down and just talk about it just because it's so good. I might do a live stream on YouTube but we'll see. Ugh, that's for another time again. But um, yeah, going back to this, like I hope they delve into all that dark stuff and just like... They take risks, because that's what makes good storytelling. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Baby Bengal out. Woo!